Kia ora year 12 and year 11. This video is going to go over how we rearrange expressions with square roots. So I'm going to start with two reasonably straightforward ones um, and then move on so that questions 3 and then 4 link up quite a few different skills. So if you find these first two really easy just make sure that you do look at the second half of the video. Okay so we need to here make x the subject of the formula but x is lurking under a square root sign. So the inverse operation to square rooting is to square. So we can square both sides of the equation and here we're going to get y squared is equal to x minus 3. Adding 3 to both sides, we get y squared plus 3 equals x. And that's me done, the first one. So that felt pretty easy. And when, in general, you have the x under a square root, and it's sitting on its own on one side, then you're good to go with that approach. So the next one works in a pretty similar way. We're going to square both sides. And we get y squared equals 3x plus 17. Our goal, remember, is to make x the subject, so y squared minus 17 equals 3x. And now we're going to divide both sides through by 3. So we have x equals y squared minus 17 over 3. Now, I'm sorry about the piano in the background. Hope that's not too distracting. Okay, so those two should have felt fine, and the simple ones are given to you in that form. But things get a bit more complicated when we don't have the square root sign sitting on its own on one side. So we're going to take a look at that now. Okay, so here we've got y equals root x minus 3 plus 7. So suppose that you blindly go ahead and square both sides. Well, you'll get this. y squared is equal to all of this squared. Now we can do that. Let's write out what it means. But you can see it's not getting better, it's actually getting much worse. We get y squared equals ugh, x minus 3 from these. I'm going to do this so that you see why and never to do it again. Plus 7 root x minus 3 plus that again. So we have not got rid of the square root, plus 49. Okay, now we could keep going on that, but you can see now we've got more trouble. We've got an x here and we've got a root x minus 3 here. So we do not want to do that. What we want to do instead is the first step is to subtract 7 from both sides. So y minus 7 equals root x minus 3. Now when we square both sides, we have the messy stuff happening, well, not very messy, on the left-hand side, and we just have x minus 3 here. So we get y squared minus 14y plus 49 equals x minus 3. And our last little step is to add 3 to both sides. So we have y squared minus 14y plus 52 equals x. Right, question number 4 is a harder one and it's going to link up a couple of different skills. And that's coming up now. Okay, so we're happy. Well, we're kind of happy because we see that we've got all of the square root is together on one side, but we've got a fraction. So let's just start as usual by squaring both sides, we get y squared equals x plus 7 over x minus 8. Now this should look really familiar because we learnt how to rearrange expressions where we had what we call rational expressions with x in the numerator and the denominator. The only slight difference is that we've got y squared here, but that doesn't matter really at all. So multiplying both sides through by x minus 8, we get y squared times x minus 8 is equal to x plus 7. And now I'm going to expand x y squared minus 8 y squared equals x plus 7. And my goal is to isolate everything with x's on one side and everything without x's on the other side. So we have x y squared minus x is equal to 7 plus 8y squared. Factorising that out, I get x into y squared minus 1 equals 7 plus 8y squared. And so my final answer is going to be x equals 8y squared plus 7, or the other way around, doesn't matter, over y squared minus 1. So there we go. Now, if you do the theta exercise, which is very nice, um, there are 12 questions there. The only one that gets even a tiny bit harder than that is the very last one, where you'll see they've got a problem with a 5 root x plus 1 over x minus 1. 
Now, it, that doesn't make too much difference. You're just going to divide through by that number first. But have a look at that, that one and ask me in class if you have trouble with it. It just gets a bit messier. All right, thanks for watching. I will do a couple more videos later on.